Today, we're going to learn how you can take advantage of Microsoft Copilot inside of Microsoft PowerPoint to help you create and design PowerPoint presentations. Let's take a look. Inside of Microsoft PowerPoint, there are two different ways for you to take advantage of AI to help you create and design your PowerPoint presentations. First, I want to show off where these two features are at and how you can gain access to them. So open in front of you, I've got just a blank PowerPoint presentation. And if I go to the Home tab, on the far right, I've got a section that contains two of these tools. The first one is Designer. Now, in order to get the designer tool, you've got to be on the Microsoft 365 subscription package or utilizing PowerPoint Online. If you've got one of those two setups, then you're going to have access to designer. Unfortunately, if you're not on the 365 or through PowerPoint Online, you won't have the designer option. The second option is Copilot. Now, this is Microsoft Copilot. This is Microsoft's AI, uh, AI tool that's integrated into the Office applications. Now, once again, in order to get access to this tool, first, you've got to be a Microsoft 365 subscriber, and then you've also got to sign up for the Copilot tool. Now, to get the Copilot tool, there's a couple different flavors. There's a personal use and a business use. Now, if you're utilizing PowerPoint at work, at a business, you may have access to this subscription already. If not, it's something you got to sign up for, you got to pay for. So I'm going to drop a link to this site right here. And this is the Microsoft Copilot uh, page. And here it'll give you all the information about Copilot. And this is specifically the personal use page. You can also find the business use page uh, from this page as well. But you can sign up for a one month trial. Uh, outside of that, it is $20 a month per user. So something you gotta decide. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is help, hopefully help you decide that Copilot can really help you out a lot inside of PowerPoint. So let's take a look at what these two features can do for you. The first tool that we're gonna take a look at here is called Microsoft PowerPoint Designer. The designer tool is gonna help you design the active slide inside your presentation. Take a look. So open in front of you, I've got a simple presentation. It's got a single slide in there. It's called My Summer Vacay-01, and it's a PowerPoint presentation file. I'm going to make this available in a link down below inside the comments section. So if you want to follow along with me, pause the video, jump down, grab the link, and try this out. So on this slide, again, really simple one, I've got a title. I've got a simple little bullet list, my day-to-day -day activities on my summer vacay, and I've got three little images out there that I've just slapped on the slide, waiting to get moved around and resized and make it look more professional and clean looking. Well, rather than me spending time sitting here monkeying around and moving things and resizing things, I'm going to utilize Designer to help me by giving me various variations of a slide layout utilizing this content right here. Take a look. So my first step is I'm going to go to my home tab. On the far right, I'll give the designer button a click. And this is going to open up the designer tab or panel on the right hand side of my screen. I give that a click. And here's my designer tab. Now I'm going to remove my head for a moment. Get that out of the way. There we go. Now, inside the designer tab, it does let us know right now that it is actually part of the Copilot tool. Oh, great. Create presentations, summaries, and achieves more with Copilot chat. Well, we're not going to worry about that just yet, so I'll close that out. Now, here, they've given me several variations of my content, laying it out in slightly different ways. Now, all I need to do is scroll through and find one that I like. So I can click on one and it'll relay out the slide. Nice and clean images, all the same size and nice and even. Got my text, my header, got my bullet list looking pretty good. 
The second one, they do some variations on the images with some nice texture on it. I think that looks pretty cool. See, if I keep scrolling here, I like this one. I think this is pretty cool. I've got a nice texture around the edges of those images, some texture on that line, a little bit more color. Um, but again, Microsoft PowerPoint is now giving us some options to pick from and really doing a lot of the work for us. The next one actually caught my eye. I like that nice curve and I do like the text on the left hand side. And that small element right there, I think it actually adds quite a bit to the layout. I think I'm gonna stick with that one. That's pretty cool. But again, just scroll through, find one that catches your eye, one that's gonna draw the users in, does something fancy with your images, lays your text out the way you want it, but all utilizing PowerPoint Designer to do the design work for you. Try it out. Now, the next tool that we're gonna take a look at here is Microsoft Copilot inside of PowerPoint. Now, before we dive in there, here's kind of big picture what we're gonna ask Copilot to do for us. We're gonna create just a blank PowerPoint presentation, and then we're gonna ask Copilot to create the content inside that presentation based on the content of a Microsoft Word document. So imagine this, somebody's created a Word document and they put a bunch of text inside their bullet points and sections and so on. Now that you've been asked to create a presentation to show off that content. Well, to do that manually, that could take all day, even just getting the text into PowerPoint onto various slides, right? That in and of itself, copy paste, that's gonna take some time. We're gonna get Power or PowerPoint Copilot to do that all for you and to do some formatting for you as well. So here's the Word document. This one's called 2025 Marketing Strategy-01. I'm making it available in the description of this video. You can download it and you can use the file yourself to try this out. So inside here, I've got the title, marketing strategy for 2025, a vision statement, some key objectives, increase brand awareness, expand market research or reach, and so on. I've got some actions for each quarter. I've got some financial projections, a list of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and a conclusion. So that's the content that I want to build the presentation based off of. All right. So now into PowerPoint. I'm going to close this out. Let's just open up a blank PowerPoint presentation. Then we're gonna to go to the Home tab. On the far right, we're gonna open up Copilot. I'll give that a click. And here's our Copilot panel. Now I'm gonna get my head out of the way here. There we go. Inside the Copilot window, you're first gonna see a handful of prompts, suggested prompts to get us started. The first one is Create. We're gonna create a presentation from a file. So I'll give that a click. Down below, they give me a list of files to pick from. These, this account, this Copilot account is attached to the same account that I'm utilizing inside of my Office applications, in this case, inside of PowerPoint. So all through OneDrive. Well, I don't see the marketing document in there for me to pick from, but I do have the option to upload it. So I'm gonna hit the upload button here in the corner. I'm going to upload from this device. There it is, 2025 Marketing Strategy. Great, I'll open that up. Now it's going to take just a moment to perform the upload. Now, you'll notice that it does give me a little warning window here. It says, uploaded a copy because a file with the same name already is already used. Okay, well, I can use the older one instead, or I can just continue with what I have. Well, I'm going to continue with what I got. There it is. And I'm going to hit the little airplane button to send this into Copilot. Now, this is going to take just a moment, and it can take a while. It could take a short amount of time, all based on the content in the file. If you've got a lot, it's going to take longer. got little, it's going to be shorter. But it's already starting to generate content based on that Microsoft Word document. And here we go. I think this is so cool. Just how quick did it do it? So already got my first title slide there, marketing strategy for 2025. Bingo, it's got the document, it's got the content. Slide number two is an agenda, nice little breakdown. Slide number three, got an introduction. 
um, leading provider of innovative products, sustainable products, customer satisf satisfaction, and so on. Let's see, slide number four, breaking down those key points, right, that we saw earlier, increase brand awareness. Let's see, expand market reach, and so on, drive sales growth. Well, let's see, what's this one? Enhance customer experience. I like that graphic. That's a pretty cool graphic. There's our projection table. There's our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And then our conclusion. All done for you. Not only did it bring the content in, but it also applied formatting to it and some images. Now, one of the beauties here is it did a lot of the work for you, but this is totally editable. We could do whatever we like here. Swap images out, change the formatting, edit, modify, add, delete, anything that we need to, text or otherwise. But through Microsoft Copilot, it just did a lot of the heavy lifting for you, especially if it's Friday, 4.30, and you're ready to hit that door. Copilot builds it for you. Try it out. Let's try one more thing inside of Copilot dealing with the presentation that we just created, all based off of that 2025 Marketing Strategy Microsoft Word document. Well, one of the challenges that I face at the end of a presentation, right, you've given this killer presentation, you've nailed it, you hit it out of the park, right, everybody's excited. Now you ask for questions. What questions does the audience have, right? Is there anything that wasn't quite as clear? Is there something that we should be diving deeper into? You know, prompting the audience with their thoughts, right? What are you thinking about? Well, inside of Copilot, there's a prompt where we can have it generate some questions for us. So sometimes I'll ask a question, ask the audience, and crickets. Nothing. Right. So I've, I've kind of trained myself to sit and wait for a little while. Right. Let the users kind of mull it over and think about it. Give them time to formulate a question. Right. Well, take a look at this back into PowerPoint. Still got the same presentation open that it just created for me. I've got the copilot window. Remember, it's home to copilot. And I've got a prompt in there for questions for audience. What are some good questions to ask the audience? So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. Let's see what it comes up with. All right. Oh, it gave me the prompt. What are some good questions to ask the audience? Now I get it, the send button. All right. So it's going through and analyzing the document, right? The content that's in there. And here's some of the questions that it could come up with. All right. The introduction. What are your initial thoughts on the current state of the marketing strategy? Key objectives. Which of our key objectives do you think will have the most significant impact on our growth? I, I, and we can keep going here. How do you feel about the financial projections? Do you see any project potential risks or opportunities we might have missed? Right? You're, you're going through the presentation and you're, you're giving information that's contained in the slide and perhaps getting some real-time feedback. But at the end of the presentation, we can come up with some additional questions or even interject these into the slides as we go along. A good place for these would be inside of the notes section of the presentation itself. So as you're given the presentation, you've got those prompts to help you interact and make it more engaging for yourself and for your audience. Okay. Microsoft Copilot, banging it for us. Try it out. That's it. With a little bit of AI magic through PowerPoint Designer and Microsoft Copilot, we can get some assistance in building and designing your PowerPoint presentations. So stop and think about that for a moment. Where can you use Microsoft Copilot AI to help you design your PowerPoint presentations? What types of prompts can you come up with to get Copilot to do some of the work for you? Leave some comments inside of the comments section down below. Where can you use Copilot inside of Microsoft PowerPoint? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post to this channel each week on Microsoft PowerPoint and other Microsoft Office tools. Until next time, jump in there, try it out, explore the designer, explore Copilot, and I'll see you in the next video.